It's day two of our road trip that started in Venice. We have crossed the Dolomites and are now in Innsbruck. After going on our morning stroll in the city, we leave the capital of Tyrol behind and head off to visit Berchtesgaden in southern Bavaria. There we will visit the Eagle's Nest of Hitler and Lake Konigsee, which means the King's Sea. The distance is 155 kilometers and will take about two hours of riding. But I thought it would be nice to take the country road in order to enjoy the nature. Unfortunately, this wasn't a wise choice, as we came across traffic in several places and the road passed through every city and village along the way. And, except for a few parts in the beginning, even the landscape wasn't that special, considering the traffic we had to put up with. The distance was about the same for both routes, but the country road took about an hour and a half longer. However, after Eppendorf, meaning the last 55 kilometers, the landscape is really beautiful. And although I had regretted taking this road, my spirits were up again. Somewhere in the tunnel, we changed countries. I realized that we had left Austria and entered Germany when I saw the new speed limit signs. The route is very beautiful, with a river running along to the right. I arrived at the village, but didn't know how to reach Eagle's Nest. I made a wrong turn, stopped, asked for directions, asked again, but eventually I found my way. As always, you can see the exact location on the map at tripment.net. Both Eagle's Nest and Lake Konigsee accept visitors until 4.30 p.m. So, since it was almost 6 p.m., we decided to stay in the area and visit both attractions the next morning. To my great and unpleasant surprise, all the hotels in the village and surrounding area are full, so there are only a few very expensive options. So we had to stay at a hotel a few kilometers out of Berchtesgaden, paying 185 euros for just a decent double room. This is probably the most I've ever paid for a room in my life. The first historical reference to Berchtesgaden dates back to 1102 AD, and it is presented as an area with rich salt deposits. It was built in a very beautiful region of the Alps in southern Bavaria, and was even chosen by the Nazis as the location where they created holiday resorts for senior officers. The village boasts traditional buildings and cobbled walkways, and it is a very beautiful place to explore on foot, or to enjoy a coffee or a meal. The next morning, we headed toward Eagle's Nest. The route is incredible. At one point, a deer jumped out in front of me, but it passed by so quickly and at such a distance that I couldn't capture it on camera. You have to ride up to a point from where a bus will take you up to the top of the mountain. If you have enough time and are feeling up for it, you can hike to the top for free. The reason there are buses is because the road is very narrow, making it difficult for cars to go up and down at the same time without getting stuck. The scenery is spectacular. In the distance, you can see Konigsee Lake, where I will go later. After the bus dropped us off, we entered a tunnel that went deep into the rock. From here, we will take an elevator that will take us to the top of Mount Kelstein, which peaks at an altitude of 1,835 meters. The view from up here is breathtaking. From the northeast side, you can see Salzburg at a distance. The Kelsteinhaus Chalet, which is the common name for Hitler's eagle's nest, was built in only 13 months. 
This was because of the deadline for it to be completed by April 20th, 1939, as it would be a gift for Hitler on his 50th birthday. The project was a struggle against time, snow, and hard terrain. More than 3,000 people worked day and night, winter and summer, to complete it on time. Now, I don't know if it is true, but I read somewhere that construction cost about 150 million euros in today's money. However, Hitler visited it only a few times for some official meetings. This is why it wasn't destroyed by Allied forces in World War II, as it was not really associated with him. Today, Eagle's Nest belongs to a charity organization and operates as a restaurant. I leave Mount Kelstein behind and head south of Berchtesgaden to Konigsee Lake. The distance from the village is less than 6 kilometers and will take me about 10 minutes to reach it. The place is very beautiful, but very crowded. We have to wait about one and a half hours before we can take the boat ride on the lake. And honestly, seeing everyone crammed into a boat like sardines, I didn't feel like doing that at all, despite the fact that a friend of mine had told me it's worth it. However, we did walk along the path of the east side of the lake, which was really nice. The lake is 7.7 .7 kilometers long, and the landscape of tall mountains surrounding it makes you feel like you are in a Norwegian fjord. It is considered to be the cleanest lake in Germany, and in order to keep it this way, the tour boats are electric. If you can find one, you can hire a paddle boat at a very affordable price. The cost for a round trip is 14 euros and 80 cents per person. The scenery from the drone was very beautiful. Konigsee Lake is considered to be one of the top 100 attractions in Germany and definitely worth a visit if you are in the area. As we were leaving, I was impressed by the huge rocks with trees growing out of them. My very short visit to Germany ended here, as I will pass through Austria again to continue my way to Salzburg, Hallstatt, and the Austrian Alps.